Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We got a fun one for you today. We've got a little slide in logo effect when the page loads. If I refresh this site here, you'll notice the logo sliding in from the left hand side there. Nice little effect. Let's just do that one more time so you can see it. It just slides in from the left. Really easy to do. Got to do a little bit of coding for this. But as usual, anything I do, I'll put down below the video for you. So let's just quickly undo what I've got going on here and I'll take you through it. Okay, I've undone that now. If I refresh the page now, that logo should be static. Yep, perfect. Okay, I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. Most browsers have this nowadays, but if yours doesn't, Google Chrome's a free download. So I'm gonna right click and inspect our little logo here. And here's our inspector. I've got elements selected on the left hand side so it's showing me HTML. I've got style selected on the right hand side so it's showing me CSS. Now, because I right clicked on the actual image itself, it selected that image for us. Whenever you roll over something, you'll see that it highlights it blue. Now, I don't think I want the helper, but I think I'm gonna target the actual whole logo container itself. That should work for us today. So I'm going to double left click on that class name there and I'm going to copy it, control C. Great, that's really all I need. Now I'm going to go down to my dashboard. Once you're at the dashboard, you can go down to appearance and to customize and there's an additional CSS panel or you can go down to Divi, theme options. And under the general tab, if we roll down to the bottom, we've got the same CSS panel here. So let's do that here. I always like to give my code a title makes it easy to find especially if somebody else edits the site so if you've got something in there already just put your cursor there and scoot it down or you can put this on the bottom doesn't matter at all and a title is forward slash star star forward slash anything you write in between the two stars there won't be read as code so let's say slide logo whatever you want to say yours so we copied that class name from our little inspector just now. All class names have a dot or a period in front, so let's put a dot. And then paste the class name, Control-V to paste. We'll open and close some curly brackets and decide what we want to do with it. Well, I want to animate it, so I'm going to say animation, colon, and we'll give it an A. Let's say slide in logo. Call it whatever you want. It needs to be unique. I want mine to run for about one second if you want it to be faster, you can do 0 0.5, 0 0.75, whatever you want. If you want it to be slow, you can do 1.5, 2, whatever you need. And I'm going to have it ease in, ease out. Great. We now need to create this little animation that we've called slide in logo here. To do that, we need to drop down a little bit more. We're going to use keyframes to build this today. So we're going to say at keyframes. Then the name that we gave it which is slide in logo. I'll just copy that name. Control C and follow me to paste. Now we can open some more curly brackets and decide what we want to do with it. So we're going to say from and open some curly brackets. And I'm going to use transform translate to move my logo. So it's good. I want it to start out. If we look at it here, I want it to start out maybe 200 pixels over here and I want it to be invisible and then slide in and become visible. Now, if you want to adjust yours so it does it more than that, you can. And this will work perfectly on tablet and mobile too. So let's have a look. I'm going to use transform, translate. And I want to, like I say, do it by a negative 200 pixels. You could also use left margin negative 200 pixels. But this works for me. But I only want it to translate really around the X axis. So it's going horizontally and not vertically. And I also want it to be invisible when it comes in. So let's put a semicolon on there or it won't read the next line of code within the curly bracket. I'm going to say opacity. Colon zero, which will be invisible. Now I want it to go somewhere. So after that little curly bracket there, I'm going to say two. We'll open some more curly brackets here. I'm going to use both these settings. So I'm going to copy this. Control C to copy again. I'm going to paste it in between our new brackets there. 
And I'm going to adjust the opacity from 0 to 1, which is fully visible. And with opacity, you can do 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and bring it up that way. But fully visible is what I want. And I want it to be in its normal position, which would be 0. You don't need to put PX in if you're just using a 0 there. All right. Well, let's save the changes. A little green button there. Make sure you get a little check mark like that. We'll go back to our page and refresh now. And there it is sliding in from the left side. I'll do that one more time just so that you can see. There we have it. And as I say, it'll work perfectly on tablet and mobile. If I hit my F12 again, get my responsive devices up. Here we are on an iPhone 12. Let's just move that down a little bit. We'll refresh the page again. And that little logo slides in there. And on an iPad, should do pretty much the same thing. And there we have it. Now, if you wanted to disable it on tablet and mobile, you can put in what they call a media query. You just put in at media and screen and the size of the screen, you don't want it to change from. And then you could just put in animation. We use animation here and just none after it to stop any animation on smaller screens. But I'm happy with it on all devices. So there we have it, guys. Let's get rid of this. Here's how to create a slide-in logo animation for your Divi site. Really easy to do, and of course, if you go to a different page, it's gonna do exactly the same thing for you. Just another way of getting people's eyes on your logo. As you can see, really easy to do. And don't forget that code's down below the video for anybody that wants to cut and paste it. With CSS, I would suggest you to write your own because it's really easy and a great thing to learn. Now, don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.